This is Jody Becker, and welcome to lesson one in a series of three. In this lesson, we will learn how to download Apache OpenOffice 4, open a Word document in Apache OpenOffice Writer, format text styles, text size, and color, insert images, wrap the text around them, insert shapes, tables, and graphs, and then save as a Word document, a PDF, or Apache OpenOffice format. Apache OpenOffice is open source software and available for a free download at openoffice.org. In order to download this program, you go to www.openoffice.org and click on I want to download Apache OpenOffice. There's been a recent release of version 4.1.2 and you simply click on this and it should show up in your downloads. It takes about 10 minutes. Once you've downloaded and installed Apache OpenOffice, we can get started. Today's lesson is going to be on text documents or Apache OpenOffice Writer. I'm going to click and it will open up a brand new untitled document in OpenOffice Writer. So I'd like to open a Microsoft Office Word document. I'm going to click on File, Open, and that will take me to the last folder that I was in. I'm going to choose the lesson plan. I'll click there and select Open. It comes up in exactly the same format that it was in, in Microsoft Office Word. And now we're going to format some text styles, text size, adjust color, insert some images, do a text wrap, insert shapes, tables, and graphs, and then finally save this Word document as a PDF or Apache OpenOffice format. The menu bar in Apache Open Office Writer is very similar to Microsoft Office Word. We have File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Tables, Tools, and Windows. If you'd like to explore the tools more, click on Help, go down to What's This, a question mark will appear by your mouse, and you simply scroll over the tool icons and it gives you a detailed description of what each tool is capable of doing. Let's get started formatting our text styles. There are two different ways to do this. We can highlight our text and go up here and choose our font style. We can also adjust our font size. We can bold or unbold, italicize, and underline. We can also change our font color. We have quite a large selection in Apache OpenOffice. Or we can go here to apply style and choose from one of the heading styles that they offer. This is a good way to stay consistent with your headings and your subheadings throughout your document. If you're interested in exploring these, you can go to more and then just simply double click and it will change your selected text. I'll go with heading one for now and then close out the styles and formatting box. Next I would like to show you how to insert an image and have the text wrap around it. I'm going to go to insert, scroll down to picture, and select from file. This takes me to my desktop where I have an image saved that I'd like to insert. I'll select that image and select on Open. This inserts the image where my cursor was. It's on the second page. In order to get, as you can see, the text is split where the image was inserted, and I'd like to have the text wrap around this. There's two different ways to do that. You can go up here to your context-specific toolbar. As you notice, this changed 
when I had an image selected. And you can choose page wrap, where your text will wrap around the image. Or you can right click on the image, go to wrap, and choose from other selections. Page wrap is the one that I prefer to go with. I can move this anywhere around the page and the text will wrap around it. I will just set this aside for now. The next thing I'd like to show you is how to insert and edit a table. I'm going to go up to insert on the menu bar and scroll down to table. And then I have the opportunity to edit this. I'm going to do four columns and four rows and click on OK. The table was inserted where my cursor was in the document. And now I'd like to play with cell color and text within the cell. In order to change the color of the table, I'm going to select all of the cells, go up to fill, and choose a pale green. I can also insert text into the cells individually. and then select the alignment within that cell. I'll choose center. I can edit the color of the text within the cells. I'll go with purple again. And I can also bold this, italicize this, underline this, adjust the font size, and format the font. As you can see, our context-specific toolbar has changed once again because our cursor is located inside of a table. If you'd like to adjust the table columns, you simply position your cursor over one of the borders and you can move the margins wherever you'd like to. You can also adjust the thickness of the lines in the table by selecting the table or individual cells, going up to line style, and then choosing your desired thickness. You can also adjust the color of the border in the table. Now I'd like to show you how to insert some shapes into our document. I go to View, Toolbars, and then scroll over to the drop-down menu and select the Drawing Toolbar. This appears at the bottom of my screen. I can click on the shape I'd like to enter and simply insert that into the document. Our context-specific toolbar has changed once again we can edit the weight and the style of the outline. We can select the color of the outline. And we can change the fill. We can do a solid color, a gradient, a hatching. And we can also wrap our text around this document. Now that I've shown you how to download Apache OpenOffice, open a Word document, format text styles, text size, and text color, as well as insert images and do a text wrap, insert shapes and tables, I'd like to show you how to save this as a Word document, a PDF, or Apache OpenOffice format. In order to save this document, I'm going to scroll to File on the menu bar. You can scroll down to Export as PDF, or you can use the Save As function. When you select Save As, you'll have the choice in saving as file type. You can save this as a Microsoft Word document, or 
you can export this as a PDF. You can also save this as an Apache Open Office document. or a Microsoft Word. This concludes my tutorial on Apache Open Office Writer. I look forward to joining you in Lesson 2, where we will explore Apache Open Office Spreadsheets, or Calc 4.